तो बायोलॉजी टिश्यू लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टिश्यू लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट मींस व्हाट ओके टिश्यू मींस व्हाट टिश्यू मींस इट इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ सेल्स ग्रुप ऑफ सेल्स इज कॉल्ड एज टिश्यू ओके सो हाउ दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मींस अरेंजमेंट arrangement or classification okay so how in the tissues the arrangement is made or the classification is made or how the functions are separated okay what are the different functions of different tissues that and all we are going to study okay so what and all we are going to study is we are going to study about animal tissues epithelial tissue connective tissue so first we will be studying about these three tissues okay animal tissue epithelial tissue and connective tissue so in this what and all we are going to study in this we are going to study about the classification of these tissues okay how they are classified okay and we are going to describe the tissues what will be the shape of the tissue what will be the structure what and all is present in the tissue that and all we will be studying and then we will be studying about the location of the tissue where it is located okay and then we are going to study about the functions of the tissues and we are going to study about the modifications in the tissues okay and also the uses importance of the tissue so all these things we are going to study for the each tissue okay understood so what is tissue tissue means a group of cells it is called as a tissue okay so the other name for tissue is living fabrics living fabrics it is the other name for the tissues okay so for each tissue we are going to study all these things separate separately so first we are going to study about animal tissue animal tissues so animal tissues they are classified based on their size shape and function they are classified based on the size shape and function okay so what are the types of these animal tissues okay so this animal tissue is classified into this epithelial and connective tissue it is coming under animal tissue only okay it is uh, classified into epithelial tissue connective tissue okay muscular tissue and neural tissue okay so epithelial tissue connective tissue muscular tissue and neural tissue this epithelial tissue it is divided into two types so what are animal tissues animal tissues we can classify based on the size say, uh, shape and function animal tissues are divided into four types okay epithelial tissue connective tissue muscular tissue and neural tissue in this this epithelial tissue it is divided into two types 
the epithelial tissue is divided into two types one is simple epithelial tissue and the other one is compound epithelial tissue okay the simple epithelial tissue is divided into five types okay so what are the five types of simple epithelial tissue one is squamous simple epithelial tissue the next one is cuboidal simple epithelial tissue the next one is columnar columnar simple epithelial tissue the next one is ciliated simple epithelial tissue and the last one is pseudo stratified simple epithelial tissue understood so these are the five types of simple epithelial tissue this compound epithelial tissue it is divided into two types okay compound epithelial tissue is divided into two types one is stratified compound epithelial tissue the other one is transitional transitional compound epithelial tissue or in biology it is about names only so all the names you should keep in mind okay so stratified compound epithelial tissue the other one is transitional compound epithelial tissue okay so the stratified itself it is divided into two types one is keratinized keratinized stratified compound epithelial tissue and the next one is non keratinized non keratinized stratified compound epithelial tissue okay so now we are going to study about all these things in detail so first we will be studying about epithelial tissue then we will go to connective tissue so in epithelial tissue we are going to study about simple what is compound what is squamous what is cuboidal what is columnar ciliated pseudo stratified stratified transitional keratinized uh, non keratinized everything we are going to study okay so first we are going to study about the epithelial tissues okay so what do you mean by epithelial tissue epithelial tissue means it is a sheet of cells okay so many cells will be connected like a sheet okay so it is like a sheet of cells okay so what it will do it will cover the body surface it will cover our body surface so how it will occur in our body in human body it occurs for as three forms okay so one for covering okay the other one for as a lining epithelium and other one as a glandular epithelium okay lining epithelium and glandular epithelium so what do you mean by covering lining epithelium and glandular epithelium so epithelial tissue means it will cover the body surface or it is going to cover something okay so covering means it will cover our hand is covered by skin yes or no so it is made up of this epithelial tissue okay or glandular epithelium glandular epithelium means many glands are there pituitary gland thyroid gland yes or no so the glands will be covered by this tissues okay so if uh, any gland has to be covered or uh, or any part of our body has to be covered it will be covered by the epithelial tissue okay so what are the functions of this tissue so what it will do it will give protection for us okay it will do absorption for us 
okay suppose if i am getting hurt okay i am applying an ointment so that ointment will be absorbed by the tissues yes or no so protection absorption filtration okay filtration means what any harmful substances it cannot enter our skin yes or no only the unharmful substances can enter our skin okay and excretion excretion how it is done our waste liquid and all it is coming out in the form of a sweat yes or no so sweat okay and secretion secretion means sweat is secreted okay saliva is secreted so all those secretion thing okay and sensory reception sensory reception means if somebody is touching you you can feel that sense yes or no so sensory reception means the feel to touch the response to touch if i touch any hot object i will take the hand immediately okay so those type of things are done by this epithelial tissue okay so how this epithelial tissue is divided it is divided into simple and compound epithelium so first i will say what is this simple epithelium simple epithelium means it has single layer of cells has single layer of cells okay so what all it will do it will do absorption secretion and filtration it will do absorption secretion and filtration so how it is divided it is divided into five types i wrote squamous then what cuboidal columnar ciliated and pseudo striated so first what is this squamous so simple epithelium in that i am going to tell what is this squamous epithelium so how this squamous epithelium will be okay so it is flat in shape okay it is flat and it is a single thin layer it is a flat single thin layer okay it has irregular boundaries it has irregular boundaries okay so where all they are found they are found in kidneys okay lungs okay lining of the heart blood vessels etc so in all these parts they are found so how it will be so it will be like this so it will be flat okay so flat means it will be like this will be flat like this okay so this dot is nothing but the cell nuclei okay the stop surface is called as the apical surface okay and this bottom line this is called as the base lamina base lamina okay so it will be flat like this okay so this bottom line is base lamina this one this line this bottom this part okay this part is called as the uh, underlying tissue 
underlying tissue. So it will be flat. Okay, it will be flat and it is only single layered. Okay, so that is only squamous epithelium. Okay, so what and all the functions they will do? Okay, so they will do filtration. They will do filtration. See, it is found in kidney, lungs and heart. That means what? Kidney means they will filter the urine. Okay, lungs means they will filter the air. Okay, if any dust is coming, it will filter and it will allow only the pure air. And heart means it will filter the blood. So, all the filtration process will be done by this squamous epithelium. Okay. Then, the next one is cuboidal epithelium. Cuboidal epithelium. So, cuboidal epithelium, as the name itself says, it will be cube in shape. Okay. So, cube-like cells. Okay. And it is also single-layered. Cube-like cells, it is also single layer so where and all it is found okay it is found in the kidneys okay in kidneys where it is found is it is found in the kidney tubules suppose if the kidney is like this have you seen the tubes like this yes in the tubules this tissues will be present okay so what are the main functions of this okay and also in the surface of the ovary it is present surface of ovary when you study the reproductive system you will study about ovary okay in that also it is present so the main function is secretion and absorption so it will secrete some hormones or anything and it can absorb some hormones or anything. Okay. So it will secrete something and it will absorb something. So what will be the shape as I told you it is cuboidal. So simple cuboidal. So it will be like this. So it is like it is present in the tubes. So it will be like cubes arranged in the tube like this. Tubes arranged in the form of a tube, like this it will be present. Understood? So it will go on like this. So this center part is the hole, okay, so it will go on like this as a cube. So it will be cuboid your book it is given or like this also you can draw okay in your 9th standard textbook it will be given like this okay so like this also you can draw but like a cube you should draw okay so like this also you can draw but you should draw like a cube clear so this is only is cuboidal epithelium Okay, the parts are all same. This dot is the cell nuclei. So, this will be the base lamina. This will be the apical surface. The parts are all same. Okay. The next one is columnar epithelium. columnar epithelium so columnar epithelium means it is also single layered column column means what in table you would have seen columns ok so it will be single layer but the cells will be very tall ok so the cells will be tall cells ok so the nucleus will be oval in shape. 
tall nucleus with oval shaped nuclei okay so it is present in the digestive tract digestive tract means what from the uh, stomach intestine in those parts and all it is present okay so digestive tract from the stomach to the rectum these type of cells are present okay so in this columnar epithelium there are two modifications okay so two modifications means two types of columnar epithelium cells are produced one is in one type of cells the microvilli will be present okay microvilli so what this microvilli will do is it is helpful in absorption villi means what thread like structures micro villi means small hair like projections okay small hair like projections will be seen in some cells okay so what that will do that will help in the absorption another modification is goblet cell goblet cell this goblet cell will secrete a protective mucus mucus means like our cold how it is coming pus from our nose so like that it will secrete a mucus but it will be protective in nature okay so what is the function of this columnar epithelium it will do absorption okay and it is secretion of mucus okay secretion of mucus okay and it will secrete enzymes enzymes means what enzymes will only act as a catalyst for the reactions that are taking place in our body okay so whatever reaction is taking place in our body that enzyme only will act as a catalyst for that okay and it will also secrete mucus and it will also undergo absorption okay so how to draw this columnar epithelium so same way you have to draw a underlying tissue so it is tall cells so you have to draw it tall like this okay so draw it tall like this. so what will, how the nucleus will be it will be oval shaped so at the bottom of the cells you should draw the oval shaped oval shaped nucleus the next one is ciliated epithelium ciliated epithelium ciliated epithelium it is derived from the columnar epithelium only but you will have ciliations okay so you have cilia on the free surface okay cilia what do you mean by cilia of the on the free surface cilia means same way it is like hair like projections okay hair like projection so small small hair like projections will be seen okay so it is cilia ciliated epithelium okay so if cilia is present it is uh, seen in your uh, uterus of female okay without cilia non ciliated okay modification without cilia means without this hair like projection it is seen in the digestive tract seen in the digestive tract so you have to draw the same way okay so it is also uh, like elongated only so ciliations will be the ciliation means 
So somewhere here and all the tissues will be divided like this. Ciliations means small small hairs will be seen. Okay. So here you will have this nucleus. Small hair like projections will be seen here. Clear? Next. So we have completed squamous, cuboidal, columnar and ciliated. The last one is pseudo striated epithelium. Pseudo striated epithelium. So what is pseudo striated epithelium? Pseudo striated epithelium means they are columnar. Columnar means what? They will be elongated in size. Okay. But the elongation will be unequal. Okay. Unequal elongation. Unequal elongations. Okay. It is single layered. Okay, but it appears like multilayered. But it appears like multilayered. Why it is appearing like multilayered? Because see, it will be like this. So it is columnar. Columnar means what? It will be columnar like this. Okay. So columnar means it will be elongated like this. Clear? But the nucleus will be present in the different levels. In one tissue the nucleus will be here. In other tissue the nucleus will be here. Another here, here. Okay. So the irregular placement of the nucleus. Because of that only the single layer will appear as a multi-layer. Because of the irregular placement of the nucleus. Irregular placement of the nucleus. Okay. So that is why it is called pseudo, pseudo striated. Pseudo striated means pseudo means what? False. Okay. So it is a single layer but it is appearing as a multi layer. So it is false. Okay. So what and all it will do, what are the functions of this, it provides protection, secretion, okay, and absorption, protection, secretion and absorption. So where and all it is found, it is found in the trachea, okay, so you know what is trachea, in the throat region it will be there. Okay, and in the respiratory tract, it is found in the respiratory tract. Okay, and if uh, here in these two places it will have cilia, okay, whereas the non ciliated form, non ciliated form, it is present in the male urethra. Is present in the male urethra. Okay. Male urethra means in the excretory system it is present. Okay. So today we have studied about the epithelial tissue. In that we have completed the simple epithelial tissue. Okay. So squamous, cuboidal, columnar, ciliated and pseudo striated. Okay. So in the next class we will be studying about compound epithelium okay